Hi, I'm Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and it's time to look at the BCC Witness Protection Filter. The Witness Protection Filter allows us to track one or more objects and then apply that tracking data to a specific effect, such as mosaicing, brightness and contrast, or blur. So let's look at a couple of ways we can work with it. I have my original image here, and let's turn on the Witness Protection Filter. And currently this isn't doing anything. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna mosaic out her face. I just drag the effect center over the top here and set this to mosaic. And under the effect control, I can now control the value of that mosaic. I can scramble it up a little bit as well to make this even more anonymous and change the random seed to change up the randomness. I also have other controls, but we're not gonna be looking at those right now. When it comes to the shape, I can either choose a circle or the pixel chooser. And we're gonna look at circle right now. And under the circle mask, I can change the region radius, which I can also do on the heads up display directly within the viewer. I can change up the stretch. So it's a bit more egg shaped rather than round. And I can also change up the softness, which again, I can change up in the viewer or on my controls over here. So now we have our effect set up. We actually want to track it in so that the motion of the effect follows the motion of our original clip. Now we used to have to use a single point tracker under our motion tracker tab, but we don't have to do that anymore. If I launch Mocha, we have Mocha's much more powerful planar tracker built directly into this effect. So all I'm gonna do is create a rough shape for the face here. I'm not gonna change any of the default values down here, and I'm just gonna track us through. And the big advantage about using Mocha's planar tracker is that it's much more resilient to things like motion blur, noise, and changes in color. So all told, you'll get a much better track in much less time. Cool. So now that's finished tracking out, we want to be able to use that tracking data. And I can just click on export tracking data. And I'm gonna take this out in the Boris FX BCC center point format and I'll save it into a folder called tracks and I will call this one face track. Let's exit and save. Now, as soon as I save this in Mocha, the shape is gonna change from circle to pixel chooser. I want to choose our circle again. And under the motion tracker, I can load in that face track data. Hit okay and you can see the motion path of the face right there. If I turn off the motion path and quickly render that through, you can see that our circle is following the motion track absolutely perfectly. The other way of doing this is to actually use that Mocha data directly within the effect. And I'll merge this back in. So let's recycle this face track, shall we? I'm gonna turn off the processing and the visibility on it because I'm actually only gonna use the tracking data directly within Mocha on this one. And I'm gonna come in and just create a simple rectangle shape around her eyes. There we go. And I will call this one Eye Mask and link this to my face track. Let's have a little look. That's looking pretty good here. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna mask out this guy as well. Or this person in the background. I can't even see if it's guy or gal. So I'm gonna mask out this person as well because we can have multiple masks working simultaneously within the same effect. And that's looking absolutely fine there. Excellent, so now I can save this, come out of Mocha, and you can see again, immediately the shape has changed to Pixel Chooser. In this case, I'm gonna choose Brightness Contrast, come onto my effect, take the brightness down to minus 100, and we've now blanked out that data very quickly and effectively. And really there'll be no limit on how many masks we could have. So long as they're tracked in with Mocha, we can have several shapes all sharing the same witness protection effect. And that's our straightforward way of working with BCC witness protection. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for Adobe and check it out for yourself. Also, Follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.